Hello, welcome to this edition of Intelligent Video Today. I'm your host, Steve Vonderhaar. Join us on today's episode, Santosh Thoda, CEO over Personalized.ai. Welcome, Santosh. Hey, hi, Steve. Thanks for having me. Well, uh, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, you launched Personalized AI earlier this year. Tell us a little bit about your solution and how, uh, how your platform helps uh, individuals generate customized videos uh, on a, video messages on a large scale basis. Sure. So I think uh, uh, in a traditional approach, uh, usually people send bulk email, bulk SMS, bulk WhatsApp, where they write one uh, piece of uh, you know a message, text message, and then they replace the person's name or a company's name dynamically uh, and send it in bulk. So how about doing the same thing with respect to video is what exactly uh, personalized.ai is doing, where you give one video and uh, give us the placeholder for the name and we clone the voice uh, from the same video and your lip movements and we will be able to uh, generate those uh, personalized videos uh, to kind of uh, give, uh, per, you know, include the person's name inside the video itself so that you can send it uh, uh, to, you know, hundreds and thousands in, with a click of a button. That is so cool. So it's the height of personalization for a video message, uh, but done on, a, on an automated basis. But you still have some manual elements to it. Uh, you can even go into using the platform uh, to check uh, the the pronunciation of the name that uh, is used in a, for a given uh, uh, a participant or a, a given target for that message uh, to make sure. Uh, uh, tell us about the process of, of, of in, incorporating that manual capability into this automated platform. Right. So I think uh, it's all about configuring uh, correctly uh, because uh, we, you know, at the first instant, it might not, uh, you know, give you the immediate results. So it's all depending on, depending on how you configure uh, because uh, you need to give a specific time frames where that uh, greeting word and name and then the generic message uh, be uh, in the place of the video. So once you uh, give that and then uh, obviously uh, in the output also, uh, uh, the voice, uh, it should be uh, seamless which means that in the input video that you give, it should not have any background uh, music. Uh, uh, you know, only one spokesperson voice should be there. So once you follow them, I think uh, the output will be seamless. So once you test the samples, then you can just click a uh, generate all button, uh, which will generate for all the contacts that you've uploaded to the platform. Got it. So it's a, a, a measure twice, cut once type of approach. Once you know that you got your, your find and replace uh, perfectly accurate, then it's uh, fully automated from there. Got it. Yeah. So, uh, what type what type of customers uh, do you think are going to be putting this uh, solution to work? Uh, uh, how are your customers going to use this solution to build business benefit? Right. So, typically, uh, you know, companies who are using uh, email marketing and uh, LinkedIn marketing automation tools uh, like Apollo, Active Campaign, or Mailchimp, for example. Uh, there we are a uh, perfect fit where because uh, they must be getting a, a click through rate CTR is about you know two to three percent so that we can uh, easily accelerate uh, uh, using the personalized video thumbnail so once they see that they tend to click on it we take them to an interactive landing page where the video will start with addressing by name so that that's where people get engaged and then easily you can uh, you know engage educate and then qualify the lead uh, in the video process itself and then uh, you take them to your sales funnel, like booking an appointment right there itself. So we have already integration with all these uh, calendar platforms as well and email marketing automation platforms as well. So, yeah, that's how uh, it works. Yeah, so uh, integration is key because we have so many uh, marketing email applications already out there. Tell us about your philosophy towards that type of integration. Uh, uh, do you see yourself plugging into that uh, existing email marketing infrastructure that's already established out there? Absolutely, yeah. So that's our uh, way to go uh, to the market. So where uh, people are already using all this, uh, you know, Mailchimp or uh, you know, uh, Active Campaign kind of uh, tools. So we already integration with the top twenty uh, tools, like even including HubSpot, uh, CRMs, etc. Where with the just of a click of a you know uh, uh, copy option, you can copy a particular code, piece of code that you just have to copy paste there. It's just a one minute task for for anyone and that's it uh, the magic happens so mm -hmm. you you know the uh, automatically the uh, personalized video will be embedded and then you start get, you know seeing the results on the email side uh, on the linkedin side we have uh, our own uh, chrome extension which uh, you know it's public and 
free anyone can download and whenever you go to any person's uh, linkedin profile it'll pop up with a particular uh, personalized link so that you all you have to do is just copy paste that's it that's uh that, that's awesome and, and, and course, go ahead yeah we have integration with uh, some other you know platforms also like uh, whatsapp instagram and you know uh, coming soon uh, the twitter so that uh, we'll be kind of uh, across all the you know possible social media platforms as well. So uh, uh, integration across the board, particularly in the social media realm, uh, uh, just around the corner. So uh, uh, what is the business model then? How do people pay for this and uh, uh, how much does it cost? Yeah, so it'll start uh, very basic, uh, $49. So I mean, uh, so we do have a free trial where people can just go and try uh, 60 credits will give. So each video will consume two credits. So 30 videos, they can seamlessly, uh, you know, test it before they actually purchase. So $49, uh, it's a pure SaaS model. So you pay for use and then a monthly or yearly subscription. And uh, uh, if you go higher the plan, so $900 plan where you can create thousand videos and digital marketing agencies where they run, uh, you know, uh, thousands of, uh, you know, uh, campaign, thousands of uh, ca contacts that generate, they try to reach out to for all their customers. So we have agency plan specifically, uh, especially for them as well. So uh, uh, when you're creating a, a video with, uh, with these customized names, uh, how much uh, of a voice sample do you need uh, for it to uh, accurately mimic uh, the, uh, the, the speaker on the video? So that's a beauty. I mean, that's where our differentiation also comes in. So we don't need hours or hours of data. It's just, you know, even like uh, 30 seconds or one minute is what we recommended. So even one minute video is quite good enough for us. So where we can able to clone the, you know, uh, you know, voice uh, accurately. So we've done that already for uh, plenty of customers. So that's a decent enough. Yeah. yeah now, now you mentioned the word differentiation. Uh, there's a ton of companies out there that are taking different uh, approaches to automated content creation. Uh, how do you see yourself differentiating yourself uh, in this increasingly competitive market? Yeah, yeah. So I think, as you rightly said, I mean, the, the, uh, there is definitely a competition and the, and the technology is, uh, you know, changing so rapidly. And uh, now is the area of all uh, Gen AI and people are able to clone, uh, you know, their AI avatars. So and then, uh, you know, try to create content. Uh, but as I, as I said, like it's, it's, we are talking about a B2B use case where people, uh, it's all about trust. So we still feel, you know, humanized uh, uh, campaigns would actually yield better results. But obviously one human cannot record all these videos manually where only that name part, if you can able to, you know, focus and expert in, uh, you know, pronunciation in, in all different, uh, you know, uh, essence, uh, it could be American name or Indian name, because that itself is a big problem to solve. So we are very focused in niche and that's where we want to expertise. Uh, and, uh, and then that's where we want to differentiate with any other companies in the world. So uh, one thing I noticed that uh, you're not really using digital avatars per se. There's a lot of companies out there who are trying to uh, uh, automatically generate the whole video. But uh, you're, you're starting with uh, the, the core video of somebody actually talking into a camera. Talk to us about that process and why that approach is, is appropriate here. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I think uh, I uh, personally feel the you know digital avatar uh, tech is not yet there, especially for Indian market or any any South Asia Asian specific uh, market. The technology is not yet there, and at the same time, people are able to easily recognize whether it's a AI generated or uh, you know human driven, right? That I mean, that that that's a whole point, right? We want to build the trust using video. That's where we want to showcase the face to face. That's, that's where our you know, core point of uh, creating this product. So fundamentally, it differentiates itself that we don't want, obviously, uh, AI to do everything. But uh, we want human to be in the process of sales to build the trust and uh, you know, engage personally. But, but since there is a challenge of uh, you know, scale that they can't record manually, we are helping there exactly with a click of a button. One of the key takeaways I have as I'm looking at personalized AI is that you're literally using AI in an applied basis. Uh, you're essentially going out and sprinkling in AI where it can really add value to the overall uh, proposition. Where do you see AI going, though, for your product platform uh, over time? Uh, do you see it becoming a, uh, a, a bigger and bigger role in terms of uh, enabling new and uh, enhanced features over time? Uh, where is this uh, AI stuff going to take us uh, over the next couple of years? 
yeah yeah absolutely i think uh, definitely so since we are right now focusing only on the names uh, but there are uh, you know uh, uh, times where people need uh, more than one dynamic variables right especially like uh, you know company names or uh, you know if the an insurance company is using so they want to say how much due uh, you know uh, renewal uh, you know uh, amount is spending so those kind of uh, dynamic parameters had to be added so for which uh, we will be kind of uh, fine tuning our algorithm to make sure that yes this works for uh, not just for name but a uh, few other uh, dynamic parameters so that it gives the full power of uh, you know full level of personalization uh, for various industries and various use cases so that's where we see that uh, the ai technology is evolving so it's uh, rather than uh, uh, creating the videos from whole cloth uh, uh, it's it's just using it where it's most relevant uh, for the marketing campaign right absolutely uh, Santos uh, Thoda, thanks so much for taking the time to visit with us today. Uh, very interested in your personalized AI application. Appreciate you taking the time. A pleasure is mine, Steve. Uh, thank you so much once again for having me. And we thank you for stopping by to watch today's episode. If you want to get access to more insight from industry thought leaders like Santos Soda, click on the YouTube channel link right down there and subscribe to the Intelligent Video Today channel. For Intelligent Research and Intelligent Video Today, I'm Steve Otterhar. Thanks for your time.